Hello everybody, 2020 and we're starting this new decade with another Big Bang, the Big Bang Orchestra Black Eye, another dimension, another galaxy to explore and we're starting with the hits, Unison Hits, Flam Up. <laughs> Switching with key switches from flams up to flams down on E. Of course, in piano and forte. And you can easily switch between those two with your left hand. And just work with uh, those different articulations. Those key switches are always color coded. So if you see the green here, always corresponds to the green down here. And I'm switching between the articulations up here, use, switching between the subcategories C and C sharp here with the key switches on the lower side of the keyboard and switching between the main categories, hits, phrases, and effects, and clusters on the with the lowest keys on an 88 keys keyboard. Um, let's stick to the articulations right here. Flam up, flam down, delayed up. You see the range of the recorded samples. And the other way around, delayed down. Another trick that I'd like to show you, if you switch on this little sign in here, you get those handles that let you extend the range in case you need it. It goes up to an octave, but of course those are only pitched samples. So there's a limit to where you can go, but if you desperately need that one A here, you probably get away with it. Uh, and you can, of course, use it to just play with the samples. Um, after all, it's your musical treasure that you can use in here. Let's go to the graced notes again. I can see that being used all the time and you have the whole octave that you can play with. What you see down here is also the mixer with a lot of open mics that you have in here and you can choose between different mixer presets. We're now with a classic room mix. So that means all the room microphones have been mixed together to save you streaming and CPU power. So you have the room mix and the additional microphones for the different sections that are open. If you want to have a little bit more articulated sound, you go to the surround to stereo or to the stereo Decca tree mixes. If I open the classic Decca tree, you can choose between close, classic, wide, distant, ambient, and wet sounds. Let's just check out the classic Decca tree sound. And classic Decca tree also means that we're using the main and main center microphone of the Decca tree instead of the room mix here. And you can see that those instrument sections, the close mics for the sections, are also available all the time. All of them are open now. If I want to have a more distant sound, let's just go to the ambient decatry and you'll hear a lot more reverb. Also because um, we're just using more, this is basically just the decatry. With some additional plate reverb and you have a wet decatry with even more reverb in here. The same idea, going from room mix to stereo decatry to surround to stereo. Surround to stereo microphones have a similar idea, which is making use of those additional microphones, the surround microphones, the high microphones, the high surround microphones, to create different sounds in there. That's the close st surround to stereo. That's the wide surround to stereo. And you can see, ah, now we're using the surround microphone and the high surround. And we're going to the distance around to stereo. The ambience around to stereo. And the wet surround to stereo. So these are great starting points. You also have a surround setup if you're working in surround, just making use of all the microphones that we recorded. And you have the processed mixer presets that you can choose from. Um, Let's uh, check out the vintage tape, just see what that sounds like. Let's 
check out the massive preset and that's just changing and opening different channels in here. And uh, we're going back to the surround to stereo, classic surround to stereo to explore what else is in here for you. You have the unison hits with the pianissimo sustain. Instant suspense, you can use that all the time. And uh, we're through with the unison hits. Let's check out what the chord hits bring us. You have major chords, minor chords, open chords and diminished chords. Very easy to switch between major. Again, the whole range from B flat up to D. In already perfectly orchestrated minor chords. And you have the open chords here. And finally, you have the diminished chords. So you can play around with those sounds. And that's the hits. And we're going to the phrases here on the lowest keys of this 88 keys keyboard, switching to phrases and effects. Again, resetting the subcategory runs and rips and the green key switches to use runs major up. Runs major down. Runs minor up. And minor down. And my favorite in this category rips up and rips down. And down. Just the power of an orchestra captured in here. That's something you cannot program. It's really cool to have it available that quickly and easily as with just key switches. And um, it's just switched to, um, let's go to the ambience around to stereo because you have so much influence to the sound. <laughs> If I want to bring in, let's say, I want more of the low brass. Now, do you see that now I'm just using the microphones that are available here, all the room microphones, but if I want to bring out the low brass, I can just go in here and just say, I want more of the low brass close signal. And you can hear where they're sitting, of course, to the right side here. I want a little bit less. Comparison, let's just mute the low brass. So you can play around with those different sections. You can automate those sliders and just say you want to MIDI learn it and just assign it to any controller. So you can easily just say, uh, I want to automate the whole mixer and just bring more life in here. Um, it's very flexible. You can just emphasize the high strings in here. Let's just do that. As soon as you activate a channel, you see that the high strings are coming in. Sounds like this. <laughs> Again, the comparison, let's just switch the high strings off. With the high strings emphasized, you can also solo those and just say we want the low, in this case, it's the high strings only. And of course, you have a little bit of bleeding from the brass and woodwinds, especially with the brass, you can solo those and just see what they sound as a dry effect. And just see what that does for you. The whole thing again. It's a massive sound. So this is the runs and rips and we're going on with the phrases and effects. There's so much in here and you can use it so flexibly in your arrangements. You have a volume pumping, especially um, 
For the sustains, you just have a more dynamic movement in here. <laughs> to stick to those sounds but whenever you need one of those articulations it's just really cool to have them the shuffle sustain <laughs> another very interesting thing micro tuning the fast version really going back and forth between um, getting in tune, getting out of tune again. The whole orchestra is really working on playing around that one note. And you have the slow variation in here as well. Going a little bit up in the higher range. Oh, and what I did, what I did forget though, is to switch off the high strings and the low brass. Let's just go back the mixer presets. Let's just go back to the classic surround to stereo sound. Um, you hear more of the samples, a little bit less of the room, but the classic sound of the orchestra. <laughs> If you want to bring more dynamic in here, let me show you something else. That's the Velocity Crossfade preset. There's two presets that you find in the preset browser to the right. Let's check out the Black Eye Velocity Crossfade preset. It's the same samples, everything is the same, but like you're used to from Contact, Velocity Crossfade is activated and you can use CC1 just to play through those articulations. And we're going back to phrases and effects and we were at phrases and effects in here directly and just checking out the micro tuning slow. So now I can go in and just say my velocity crossfade, the mod wheel would switch between piano and forte. And that works with everything. So I can go in, I'm just gonna anticipate the clusters here. I'm just gonna set, say, I want to go um, to the clusters here and just say, we'll take the long clusters, but I want some dynamic movement in there. So you can influence um, the velocity with the velocity crossfade here with the velocity crossfade preset. We're just switching back to the normal preset without the automatically assigned velocity crossfade and just going on with the phrases and effects and check out what the echoes can do. Again, a smaller play range, but very interesting sound. <laughs> And we're going to the octave trills. A lot of movement there. Octave trills. Also, another very cool thing is the seagull arpeggios. And like I mentioned before, the clusters. You have a wide variety of clusters, so you can choose between different options. Clusters A and B are organized in the same way, so but you have more options there. Let's just go through the short articulations here really quick, and you see that this it's divided from short notes, um, the short simple clusters on the left-hand side. And more dense clusters on the right-hand side. And the same for the long A variation of the clusters. You have the simple clusters here.
and the more complex ones up here. If you go to the Marcato in here, you can actually add more attack at the start. And in this case, it's not Velocity Crossfade anymore, but you're switching with CC1, you're adding more Marcato. Let me show you the difference. <laughs> So you're adding more marcato attack, which is even clearer if you go to the swells, because then you have an, uh, a forte entry and a swell following the marcato in the beginning. Let's just go to the swell shorts. They sound without marcato, they sound like this. The complex ones. I can, I can already hear that it's so many movies I'm going to watch in the next time. Um, and the short swells with the Marcato. I'm just bringing in the Marcato just to show you the difference. With Marcato all the way up. So that's really cool to have. So you have the alternative there. You have long swells. Do the same trick with the marcato, just bringing in the marcato in here. And on the complex side. Bringing down the marcato. The same system with the clusters, in uh, the B variation, you have the short notes, long notes, marcatos, the short swells. Just a different sound, the more alternatives in there. And you have, last but not least, the special clusters. You have the cluster to root, so always the, coming from a cluster to the root sound you're playing. Higher regions. And don't forget, you can go in and just change anything you want in the mix. Bring out the high strings a little bit more. Bring out the low brass a little bit more. It's just all really, really mighty um, switching those off. As soon as I switch one of those off, by the way, I'm unloading the samples that are loaded in the background, just bringing back the volume again because we actually want to hear them, but not as loud maybe. So you hear what you're listening to when you're opening up the preset. Uh, now it's the other way around. We're going from the root note to the cluster sound. So a lot of magic sounds here, perfectly performed at Synchron Stage Vienna. You get the room sound, you get the orchestral sound that is so important. And the stage just adds a lot of magic. You can feel that it were, this was a lot of fun for all the musicians that were involved. Um, just being able to do that and in a controlled way to have a whole orchestra just play those effects the way they sound ideally. Um, hits and piano sustains into the clusters different from the ones we played before. If you have little kids at home, just make sure that the doors are closed when you're playing uh, those sounds because they are pretty frightening, especially if you turn up the volume. Um, 
And that's it for the overview of the Big Bang Orchestra Black Eye. I think it's a great collection that lets you customize the sound any way you want. There's more where this comes from and you know that you can start with a free Big Bang Orchestra and then extend with the Big Bang Orchestra Andromeda with the essential articulations, then add effects and phrases with the Black Eye version of the Big Bang Orchestra. Just have a really powerful orchestral collection of effects available and work with what a whole orchestra, 70-piece orchestra, can do sonically at Synchron Stage Vienna. It sounds great out of the box. Um, the features that are hidden here in the Synchron Player, you have a lot of effects and reverb and you can automate all those faders, will help you to make the most out of the mixer presets that you can load in here. You also have those processed sounds and you can choose between different stages from close to wet any way you like those special clusters to sound. This is wet surround to stereo. And this is what I'm gonna leave you with. I uh, hope you enjoy the Big Bang Orchestra Black Eye as much as I did here in this little preview. And we're looking forward to the next steps in new galaxies. Enjoy. Enjoy.